Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very fast, very easy DIY for you. This is actually an IKEA hack because most of the products I used were from IKEA. Some of you may have seen my dual desktop setup in my apartment tour, but if you haven't seen that, go check that out first. I will leave a link right here. I got a lot of questions about how we built this desk, especially going into this work from home quarantine world that we live in. Especially from those of you who live with your significant other and can handle working side by side with them. That in itself is a lot of work, believe me I know. And I do have to give credit to Chumley and Reddit because he's the one who brought this idea to my attention and he found it on Reddit. Our desk really only took three pieces of furniture. Number one, the all famous Alex drawer from Ikea. We got the five drawer in the blue color. We needed the extra space, so instead of just getting two drawers for the sides of the table, we ended up getting three so we could have two seats go underneath the desk with the added storage of that middle cabinet set. If two drawers is enough for you for the size of the table, you could even get one of those legs that Ikea sells just for the middle for that added support because this desk is pretty long. And two, you need these table legs. That's what we're gonna attach on top of the Ikea cabinets and that's what the tabletop is going to rest on top of. This is what's going to give our table that added height and also that added aesthetic. These table legs didn't actually come with screws, so make sure you purchase appropriate size screws to use. And then lastly, you just need your tabletop. We actually ended up getting one of the kitchen countertops from Ikea because it was durable, it was really pretty, and that wood element that we really wanted to add to this piece. Looking back, instead of getting the Ikea countertop, we could have also just gotten a piece of wood from the hardware store and sanded and stained it, and it would have worked just fine. So it's really up to you. Going that route might actually save you more money instead of buying the IKEA countertop. But I feel like this IKEA countertop will actually last for a lot longer, so all in all, I'm pretty happy with our purchase. Don't forget, I'll include links to everything down below, so go check that out. First up, we just assembled all of the IKEA cabinets. Next up, we took the table legs and figured out where on the IKEA cabinets we wanted to place it, roughly marked out the spots on the cabinets, and then started drilling the screws into the wood. The only thing that was left to do was position the three cabinets properly and then put the desk right on top. We didn't secure the countertop to the top of the table legs in any way. We just found that there was enough weight to the countertop and to all the things that we were going to put on top of it that we didn't need to secure it. If you want to be super safe and secure everything, you could use construction grade glue on top of the table legs and then put the countertop on top. We just didn't feel it was necessary. And that was it. Super simple, super easy, and you get this really beautiful statement desk. And you could save more money than we did just by replacing the IKEA countertop with a piece of wood that you've sanded and stained. And you don't need to use three IKEA drawer sets. It has plenty of room for two people to use it super comfortably and lay out all of their work supplies all over the desk, which is what we often do. I even use my corner as like a makeup station and a work desk. No time like the present to try out a new DIY, especially if it's gonna help you this much with your work from home situation. I know it definitely helped me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I gave you a cool idea to try out in the future. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time.